Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. I'm gonna bring you a quick video today on a couple of battery monitoring options for your, uh, you know, if you need an off grid or solar power, you'll need a way to monitor your battery's uh, capacity. With lithium iron phosphate, the voltage and charge curve, it's kind of hard to do it with just the, you know, going by the voltage. So you'll need something to do that unless you want to do a bunch of math. Well, you know, luckily we have, you know, battery monitors and shunts available. Uh, on the market for an affordable price the little computer does all the little calculations for you you ain't got to do it on paper to know your capacity and and charge and discharge rates on your batteries so i've got a couple of a uh, couple of options here uh the renergy is probably the most popular option on amazon i think it's probably got the most sales but both of these were bought with my own money they're not promos you know i, I bought these myself to kind of compare them um this one's a bit more expensive than the lead time um the lead time's quite a bit cheaper. It's got basically these have the same same features. Uh, you know, here's here's a representative example of the uh, sampling shunt right there. So, uh, you know, just two little options here, and I'll show you a couple of features of it today. Not going to get too in depth on it. So between the two, I went with the lead time. It was a more affordable option compared to the Renergy. So uh, got the monitor put in. Let me turn the screen down just a little bit here, where we can we can see a little better that's look a little better there so you can see right now i'm pulling um eight watts out i'm not making much power because it's cloudy today so uh let me turn the lights off all right so you see it flashing and you see this change to positive right here so that means it's charging now and then we put a load back to it turn the lights back on it goes to full color green screen that means it's withdrawing from the battery so um, it comes with sensing cable and uh, communication cable. So I'll show you the shunt too. Uh, we can go over all the programming on this, depending on what voltage battery bank you're using. I'll be glad to do that. Just let me know in the comments. And yes, you solar nerds out there, you may see that it's showing fully charged at 13.2 volts. That is not accurate. When I was trying to do a display screen in between filming, I accidentally hit the, the top balance button or top charge button, but you can just you know start over and let it recalibrate you know so i just put it back down to zero but of course it's not zero uh so you know i fat fingered it so it had to take a couple of days of cycling up and down to get this algorithm back because i confused it so i let it get up to you know float on the controller then i'll come back and hit this top balance button to show it it's 100 percent again so if you do that no big deal easy to fix so i put some double-sided tape on the rangy display so i wouldn't have to hold it my hands wouldn't be in the way so you could see Try to compare the two. I mean, you see they both got the little little texture right there. The screen's the same size. The buttons, you know, have a different, you know, different design. They they do the same thing. So to me, you know, they probably make the same place, just a different spec. You know, custom for each uh, company's, you know, whatever they want for their marketing. But as far as function and everything, yeah, they're they're basically uh, identical. And then with both of them, of course, you get, you'll get the display, just like you know, I showed you the lead time. So I'm just going to show you this, the Renergy one, because it's not installed. But you get your display, you get a uh, comm cable. Both of them have 20 foot of comm cable. Then they give you six feet of uh, sensing cable going back to the battery and a shunt with a holder. And the shunt is basically just a resistor. So the little computer set up. It knows the resistance of this and how the power moves through there. So that how it calculates your battery capacity and things like that. So here's both of the sampling shunts side by side. The lead time is the one that's installed. And then here's the Renji one right there. I think you can uh, draw your own conclusion from that. I mean, just a direct side by side comparison, of course. You know, got some wiring away, but you can see, uh, yeah, very similar. And then just a quick tech tip before I close out this video. Um, this is the, of course, the shunt, sampling shunt right here. B negative goes to your negative battery terminal. P negative goes to your loads or your DC uh, negative terminal block, which feeds your inverters, charge controllers, things like that. And then this is the B plus that goes to the positive side of your battery bank. So there's a reference voltage, and then of course your comm cable plugs in right here to the five pin connector. So that's just a simple, you know, simple little hookup. 
Uh, of course, consult your instruction manual, or if you want more on that, just let me know. I'll do a dedicated hookup video or something like that. So besides the coloration on the box, see different designs. And then of course, we went over the display on the lead time. You know, we got a little different coloration on the Renogy. You know, that's really the only difference. Um, the drop down menus, programming, all that's the same between the two. And uh, the manuals on both of them are great. So kudos to Renogy and lead time for including a great instruction manual. Real easy to follow, easy to set up. Um, nothing really impressive, but you know, difference between the two, both are just great overall. So it basically comes down to cost. Um, the Renogy has been out in the market longer. Uh, the lead time's kind of a newer offering with their 500 app monitor, which that's fine. Uh, you know, in my testing, nothing, nothing, you no know, sticks out. Uh, is any kind of difference between the two of them. So either one's a great choice. It depends on your budget. But I uh, hope you liked today's video. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you're not subscribed, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that too. And questions, go ahead and throw it down in the comment section. Appreciate you watching the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Hope you have a nice day.